family of a man killed outside Nippers Beach Grill last week is preparing to lay him to rest. Zach Tipton's viewing is tomorrow, followed by his funeral on Wednesday. The 40-year-old was shot and killed outside the restaurant after an altercation escalated. So far, the shooter has not been arrested. Channel 4's Haley Winslow spoke to Tipton's father about the shooting and his son. She's joining us live. Haley? His dad is so amazed and thankful for the community's support. The community has had two fundraisers for Tipton's wife and kids, which has given them enough money to pay for his funeral and still have some money left over to help them get back on their feet. He, he was a great father, great father, uh, great son. Uh, I couldn't have asked for any better. Jimmy Carter looks at his son's Hilliard High senior picture, still trying to accept that he's gone. I've lost a mother, I've lost a father, I've lost a brother, I've lost a sister. I ain't never lost one of my kids before, so it's pretty rough on me. It's different, it's different, it's different. Uh, I don't think nobody should outlive their kids. Uh, that's a sad experience to see. Carter says Zach Tipton and his wife had been friends since seventh grade. High school sweethearts then started a glass window cleaning business together in Fernandina Beach. They have three kids who he adored. He also loved motorcycles, boats, and music. His dad says he was just an all-around good person. He was the life of the party. He made everybody laugh. And I don't think he had an enemy in the world that I know of. Not one. Carter says Tipton was not in a gang, but did recently join a motorcycle club. He's still trying to piece together what happened, but says from what he understands, Tipton was involved in an altercation that escalated when he was trying to leave the Nippers parking lot on his motorcycle. He says his son hit a man who pulled out his pistol and shot him. I understand he was sh shot above the eye, uh, somewhere on the side of the head, and somewhere maybe in possibly the neck. Uh, and I think they, was, they said it was four shots fired, and I think from what I hear, he was hit three times. The last several days have been an emotional roller coaster for Tipton's family, who says he didn't deserve to die this way. Uh, no, he was a great son. I was lucky to have him. Six to eight at the Callahan Funeral Home. His funeral is scheduled for Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the Athesis Church in Hilliard, which is where he went to high school. Reporting live, Haley Winslow, Channel 4, The Local Station.